Don't they look yummy? Not only are they tasty, but the delicious feelings in these crepes are all great for your skin. Today, I'm going to be showing you two masks that follow our crepe theme that will sure to satisfy your skin's cravings. For our first crepe mask, we'll start off with whipping cream. Not only is this delicious top down desserts, but whipping cream also contains lactic acids that would gently explore your skin, soothe irritated skin, and is an awesome skin moisturizer. Next up, my favorite fruit, strawberries. The natural occurring salicylic acid in these berries will help with those nasty spots and the excess sebum. Strawberries are also rich in vitamin C that will help stimulate collagen production in your skin. Throwing another delicious berry into our crepe, we have blueberries. These tiny berries pack a powerful antioxidant punch to help fight off the damages to free radicals and it also prevents aging. Now we're done with our first crepe. Let's move on to the mask. First, we'll start by mashing up our strawberry. Then I threw in a couple of blueberries and I'm also going to mash those up. Next up, we'll add one teaspoon of heavy cream or whipping cream and mix it up well. Lastly, I also added a teaspoon of all-purpose flour just to thicken up everything a bit and make it less liquidy. For our second crepe, we'll start off with some custard. Now custard is made from egg yolks and egg yolks contain vitamin A, a vitamin known for its anti-aging properties. Egg yolks also help reduce oil production and bacteria that can cause acne. Our fruit filling for this crepe will be bananas. Bananas are antibacterial in nature and are excellent in treating skin blemishes. They are also a rich source of vitamin A and potassium and are very good at softening and hydrating the skin. Okay, so who doesn't love chocolate? Chocolate has powerful antioxidant properties to fight against aging and free radicals. It is also a great moisturizer, hydrating and rejuvenating the skin. Okay, now on to our actual mask. Here I have one fourth of the banana that I've sliced up and I'm just going to use a fork and mush it all up just like I did with the strawberries. Now you want to take an egg and separate the yolk from the white since we're only going to be using the egg yolk. Here I have one egg yolk and I'm just going to go ahead and break the yolk with a fork. Now to the egg yolk, I'm now going to add 1 teaspoon of cocoa powder and I'm going to go ahead and mix it up well. Now to our chocolate mixture, we're now going to incorporate our mashed bananas. And we're done. Just choose the mask of your choice, apply it on your face. Here I'm just using a clean foundation brush. Leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse it off. Warning, if you have any pets, they're going to want to eat off your face. After washing off the mask, my skin feels soft and supple. I hope you guys try it out. Thanks for watching. Bye!